world okay. these days with the bippity and the boppity and the hippity and the hoppity and ah, you know the rest. There's so many different types of pudding you can have. There's chocolate pudding, pistachio, and my favorite, vanilla. Or alternatively, you could have soda. Buy me a soda. Today's the game work. is Soda Girl. And no one has to cry. Doop, boop, 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 boop. So Jim, what do you think of Soda Girls? I really liked it. I, I liked it too. I liked it more than Bill Cosby's, and I'm glad Bill Cosby never got a game, video game. I wouldn't be too sure about that. <laughs> well, so far so good. I mean, if we count games many. based off his uh, properties like Fat Albert. Yeah, that's true. He, I think he did get a Fat Albert mobile game. Hey, Damn. Hey, hey. <laughs> I feel like my throat's dying so when I do that. Apparently, the concept of the game is that you're a police officer in a world full of zombies. In short and shorts, your friend is captured. So you have to go rescue her. So you fight. It's a beat 'em up. It's a beat 'em up akin to a. Uh, you know, you've had too much soda pop when your cat is called Meow Meow. That's what I really noticed about this game. The the, the cat's called Meow Meow. Your friend is a mech. Uh. Your friend has swords, so she's probably a little bit loopy in the head. Um, but I like this game. I, uh, yeah, a lot of the, the game kind side scrolling boot em, boot em ups. Beat em booty ups. ups. <laughs> booty booty em ups. Boot, booty em ups. Yes, Beat this em. is an official booty em up, em up. You don't see many booty em ups. This is the first I think we've ever played in five years almost. Yeah, but this is uh, actually a really fun uh, game. Yeah, it's though. got like an anime. The characters are all drawn in anime style, and there's a 3D backdrop. Kind of, I don't know what of the course, style reminds me of. It's like race the sun backgrounds with anime female protagonists, and wow, it's. I wouldn't say it's super fun, but it's very interesting because you can switch your move sets, yeah. unlock stuff you as you go along. You have a customizable uh, combo chain, so like you unlock moves that you can attach to your character. So when you're doing like a combo or a string, you actually get to choose which combo to use. So if you're so for me, I ultimately chose a really cool combo where I start with like a swing of a bat, then I turn that bat into like two. Uh, to, uh, yeah, it had a chain stars, on it. Yeah, and then it then it st does a more powerful version of that. Then it turns into a gun, and then turns into a more powerful gun. <laughs> it turned into a freaking rocket launcher, man. Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't a gun. That's not a gun. It, not in the it, same it, sense. It, yeah, but you can customize your move set to fit your play style. For me, I yeah. like getting close. The and bat's dirty. cool. <laughs> but yeah, definitely this game. Uh, if you're playing with the bat, it's very uh, it does a lot of damage, but unfortunately, it leaves you wide open. And one thing I have to say about this game, I think it's still in early access, so it's kind of forgiving that the menus are kind of like wonky. And, yeah, five and, minute. And, and the They're not wonky. wonky as it's well. just like, they're kind of like ghetto, ghetto men menus. Name. Yeah. Yeah, the text you can tell that they they haven't fixed it. But I mean, yeah, it's kind of that wouldn't be hour. hard. To, amateur hour. Uh, this is pretty polished for an early but access the game. Gameplay is good. Oh yeah. Than that. Yeah, it, I wouldn't say it's like super fun, but I thought it was entertaining that I wanted to unlock all the characters because you once you choose a character, you can't switch up. You have to like go back to the. It's not even beginning that. You of the have game. to clear the entire level as that character. Yeah, exactly. Character, yeah, and it's really fixed. You can't just unlock them in any order. You have to unlock them in a specifically in a specific order. And, and you can switch your weapon up too at the character select, which I thought was cool. So I mean, that's really unique. Uh, something I always wondered about beat 'em ups, like why can't you change your moves? Yeah, I don't and think there's. Any, there was no reason why they couldn't. I don't never think there's did that any before. Any beat 'em up that is as I've never customizable seen that. as this game, and yeah. I, with that, I actually give it my recommendation. It's a better zombie massacre than zombie massacre. It's a better, better than bloody zombies. I think that was the last beat 'em up we played, and it had the whole style down, kind of like this game. But unfortunately, it just as a oh, yeah, actual zombie game. Yeah, it was that just was a little... it got really hard. Like as soon as the boss showed up, it's like we're all dead. Don't get me wrong. Sorry, just gonna that go home. That game was also hard. Um, um, Soda Girls. 
It, it that game is it's sort of hard. Fun, but and I mean, some of that is because of like bullshit mechanics. Yeah, like, I was gonna say there's there's some is, bullshit. You there. only have like one jump. When, so you as have soon as you get hit and you're you're stuck in a juggle, you're screwed because then that guy that like is exploding barf at you, toxic fumes or whatever, uh, he's he's got you like you know exactly where he wants you and you're like juggling and it's like I don't know what to do in this I'm like in the air and I can't do anything yeah so this but game as is soon as you very get there's a lot of cheap hits I find like once you get hit if you get hit by a grenade you're screwed so like you can't do anything and then suddenly you get hit 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 there's not enough I that's another thing I noticed there's not enough invulnerability time when you get hit like it seems like maybe one fourth of a second and then you get hit again and they gotta fix that because it's the same kind of issue, not as bad as Bloody Zombies. The game's further along, but Bloody Zombies, it's like you get hit, yo oh yeah, you're gone. Yeah, this like, game is is both forgiving and unforgiving at the same time. And really, it's early access, so it's actually more forgiving than unforgiving because you'll see that it's gonna get it's fixed. It's a giver. So I, I'm just gonna say this, I love this game, I like this game. I'm okay. Love and like is like are like two <laughs> different just jumped, terms. Yeah, it's like, but I it's love, like, I like. You you know what I mean? I hate. I, I, I'm very favorable towards this game. I give it like a seven out of ten. It's really hard to find a good modern beat, beat em, em up. up. Yeah, Jinx. especially with as something like like guys. This is the only beat em up I've ever seen. Uh, next to one of the Double Dragon games, where you get to customize your character's uh, fighting style. I think they did a better job in many ways than the Double Dragon 4 sequel that came out. Um, because once you realize, oh, it's Double Dragon, I've played this before, this is all unique. It's I was talking totally about like Double story. Dragon Neo or Neon. Or oh, that yeah. Well, that, that was just ridiculously hard, too. Uh, even once you started unlocking the moves, and I think there were weapons as well. Speaking of unlocking, there is one thing I don't like about this game. I'm not sure if there is a shop feature because you're collecting all these uh, bar Coins. caps and you'd think that they contribute to like buying stuff <laughs> from a shop, but y it just, there's... Yeah. It feels like a mobile game because the way that they had the menu set up and... Oh yeah, I, I, it, I don't know if it, it, has, it didn't it has seem a like a weird it came. setup to it, but it's... But I kind of like the setup. It's like you get to pick like different levels to go to. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of they're really short. They're really short beat 'em up sections. So you could definitely like play this for like one for like it's it it definitely feels more like a mobile game. In fact, let me look up yeah. my mobile phone. To see Anyways, from the mobile I'm store. pretty sure it's a mobile game or originated there. It just has that feel to it, like it's going to be ported to everywhere, yeah. kind of like Skyrim. So. Uh, I definitely say pick it up. I think it's five bucks or so. It's well worth the five bucks. See where it goes from here. But I mean, everything. Mostly the most important things of, you know. Uh, I say, I say, if you really has if been you covered. Really, if you're really anal about how polished the game is, I say just wait a little I, bit. I don't know. This is not like drunk food. Like this is pretty polished for early access. This is polished, but some people are gonna get anal about like the grammar and like spelling errors and all that. So I mean. If you're like those guys who have to have their game like absolutely perfect with grammar and stuff, I say wait a little bit. But don't if, play video games. But if you're if you're a kind of guy who doesn't get anally ass blasted don't get about anal. like your character's name not being spelled with a capital, then I guess pick it up. Yeah. If you get upset because your alphabet's not the right letter or case, well, like I can I've seen someone get pissed off when they're playing a game of Double Dragon Free and they look at the intro and it says Bimmy and Jimmy. <laughs> Bimmy isn't a real name! <laughs> yeah. And that's how the uh, raw guy is born. <laughs> that's where he got inspired from. The Red Blacks announcer. <laughs> Welcome, your Ottawa <laughs> Senators! <laughs> Just get stuck on that. Anyways, I think we should wrap it yeah, up. We should wrap it up. We should wrap it up. Your soda. <laughs> yeah. And if someone wants to do something to you that it's not cool, then it's not a okay. If somebody tries <laughs> to touch you in a place or in a way that makes you feel uncomfortable, that's no good. There you Counseling. Go. <laughs> Therapy. All right. That's something kids can't afford in Japan. <laughs> 
Go Planet! Adios, amigos. Keep on gammon.